the idea of focus suggests that it actually affects something. And it's acoustically, meaning that it was not selected for its uh, physical properties or for a sign, you know, it does, the determination was not done just in a cold way using some formulas, but it was actually directed to affect, instead of affecting the mathematical specs, it was to affect the sound. And that's also something that creates a little bit of difficulty when we deal with customers that send in requests, okay, tell me how many picoseconds is this or, or that, because they want to put a number to it, whereas the technology we've created is based on addressing certain acoustical considerations. Because of the technology we're using, a standard jitter measurement, like how many picoseconds is something, is just kind of like a ridiculous measurement. There is no agreed upon spec, there is no universal agreed upon technical way to really measure the sound quality. The measurements we use go back to uh, over a century. They just cannot reflect the development of the technology. And I guess engineering profession is pretty conservative, so it hasn't really been an idea how to measure something that reflects the way it sounds so we are forced to use uh, you know subjective terms like what it sounds like that it sounds like this or sounds like that that it's that the technology affects the acoustics